All right, guys, I want to go through one of the most common things that I see in my practice every single day, which is lower back pain. So today we have a 45-year-old female who presents with lower back pain. It's there all the time, but activity seems to make it worse. Rest seems to make it better. She remembers that she hurt her back a long time ago when lifting something really heavy. She felt a pop in her back. The pain was quite severe. It did get better, but just been kind of getting worse over the years. It's just a nagging constant back pain. She's had lots of treatments over the years. She's went to physical therapy. She's had anti-inflammatory medications. She's even had injections that seem to give her some relief, but not quite permanent relief. And she just wonders, okay, what can I do about this back pain? Here's a picture of her MRI scan. So what we see on it, and I'll just kind of give you some of the answers here, is uh, these are the bones that are in the back. And then these are the discs or the cushions that sit between the bones in our back. And so what we see on this MRI scan is this disc just looks a little bit, uh, height is a little less, and it's just slightly protruded, but it's this dark color. She's seen some doctors over the years for this back pain, and really no one told her that surgery was an option. So she came to see me because the pain is just persistent and really impairing the quality of her life. So my question for you is, what is a diagnosis and what are some treatment options for this problem? Okay, so let's go through the answer to the case study of this patient with lower back pain. So we discussed it was a 45-year-old female who has had axial back pain for a long time, meaning just pain in the lower back, non-radiating, so the pain did not go down her legs or anything like that. And the patient has had extensive conservative treatment over the years. So she's done therapy, she's done tra uh, traction, she's done chiropractic management, she's have an, even had epidural injections, and she persists with this lower back pain. So just a reminder, this was her MRI scan, which showed this degenerated disc at L5-S1. So this is what our spine looks like. We have the two bones in our spine with the disc, which is a squishy thing that's in between our two segments in our spine. And this is what was worn out in this patient at their, at their bottom level, which is L5 and S1. So we can confirm that there's no instability there or any concerning finding. It's just an old worn out disc. Uh, and we call that degenerative disc disease or discogenic back pain. Um, we can ensure that the patient doesn't have any pain arising from their facet joints as those look normal on the imaging. So the test that I typically recommend to help work up discogenic back pain is either a discography or a disc block. What this uh, does is basically we test the disc to ensure that the disc is actually the source of pain. So in a disc block, we actually have a provider, such as like a pain management provider, perform an injection of a numbing medicine into the disc, um, which will numb the disc and transiently give the patient relief of their pain. So if someone fails conservative treatment for more than six months and has what we isolate as a single disc pathology, then they may be a candidate for a lumbar disc replacement. To do a disc replacement, we come through in an anterior approach. So we come through an incision that's on the patient's abdomen to approach the spine through the front. So basically we get in there and we remove the disc that's causing the problem. This is what the disc looks like when it's removed. This is the harder coating of the disc and this is the inside of the disc. But essentially we go in through that anterior approach and remove that entire disc. In its place, this is what the disc replacement looks like. It's two titanium end plates with a mobile core. And what it does is it allows persistent motion of the disc itself so the back can still move uh, normally. So disc replacement surgery isn't always the right answer for every single patient, but it is a great procedure in those patients that have one disc in their lower back at L4-5 or L5-S1 that may be causing them chronic pain. Talk to your doctor if you think you may be a candidate for a disc replacement. I hope you guys learned something from this case discussion and let me know if you have any questions.